Oh, hello there, Vanagon Addicts. It's Ken Wilford here at Vanagon. We're still working on our uh, 91 Karat Vanagon restoration project. I took out this pipe here that I was just talking about in the last video. And when I took it out, I started thinking about replacing a bunch of other parts, like hoses and things that are down here. Just because we're in there and we're trying to make this thing, you know, more reliable. Let me show you this pipe that I was telling you about. Okay, so this is the old pipe right here. You can kind of see pinholes right here in this junction. Okay, that's where they normally go bad. But we're going to wind up replacing this pipe with a new one. And also all the hoses that are associated with it and then I've been going through and replacing pretty much all the other hoses that even look a little bit sketchy um, I took out this pipe which goes like over here on you know on the driver's side underneath of all this baloney because I was in here and you can see it's kind of rusty you can see they kind of rust on the inside too a lot of times where the thing goes on um, we have stainless steel ones available on the site but I happen to have this nice used one that I painted a while back sit on the shelf so I figure I'm gonna replace that um, and replace a lot of these other short hoses but I just wanted to kind of show you like what is the failure mode okay so here's a hose here that came off of this pipe right here between this and the thermostat housing and you can kind of see it's getting swelled a little bit um, so you'll either see a swelling in the middle or you'll see some cracking if you look in here which I don't see anything like that on these you know again a lot of the these hoses I'm taking off are original and you know this car is a 1991 so I don't really feel bad replacing them because, you know, 1991 to now, I'm trying to find that hose here in this pile. Um, they need to be replaced. You know, nothing lasts forever. The new hoses that you get are actually good quality hoses. I haven't really had any problems with them at all. You can kind of see some of them are melee. Some of them, I have this hose here. This is actually an old Volkswagen one I got. Um, and some of them are JP group so but I haven't had problems with any of those hoses um, they're they're nice ones so you can kind of see the difference here I was trying to get it out of the bag but it's not really letting me you know this one compared to this one it's not swelled up right here in the middle uh, this one I replaced you can kind of start to see it's not really that bad but right past the clamp they'll start to swell it'll either be because there is um, corrosion at the fitting, or the hose itself is starting starting to die, and so you just want to replace it. Here's another one. This one's down on the oil pump cooler, the oil cooler. You can see it's swelling out right here, um, I, and I'm in there already, so I figured I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Uh, one of the tools I like to use, you can see my workbench is actually the back engine lid of the car is this tool right here I bought this a while back um, I think it's a Klein tool I remember if I remember correctly and basically it's for those spring clamps you can get to them and loosen them with this you can compress them with it and it's got this big thing on it so it does a pretty good job it's not my favorite tool in the world to use but it's either that or you're going to use a pair of vice grips which will also work but sometimes it's hard to get into the tight spaces with it uh, and then also I had these pliers which I had these for years for the spring clamps but these they like to pop off and pinch your hand in here so I really don't recommend these that much okay uh, so we're working on this uh, and making pro good progress on it 
and I guess I'll bring you guys back when we get it all put back together. Um, replacing, you know, a bunch of these lines that are going up here because why not? Okay. And thermostat housing is still good. Sometimes that'll be cracked, like on the backside underneath, but it's still good. So I'm just going to leave that. This tank, I believe, is fine. I'm going to double check it, but it doesn't look old. So that's basically what's going on. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you later.